Hi and welcome back to the channel. As you know, I love painting nature. So in today's video, we're going to be painting five botanical illustrations using gouache. They're going to be simple and beginner friendly. So let's not waste any time and let's dive straight into it. In case you're new here, my name is Shivani and I'm an artist based in Chennai, India. In today's video, along with teaching you five simple botanicals, I'll be showing you how to mix some realistic shades of green. You can find the details of all the materials I'm using in the description. For the first illustration, let's mix primary blue and primary yellow to make green. This green is very bright, so I'm adding a bit of primary red, which is the complementary color of green and helps neutralize it. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know my motto is always be swatching. So let's try the color and once we're happy with it, let's start painting. I'll first create the center stem by using the tip of my brush and then I'll press the belly down to create these small leaves. I'm using the tip first and then just pressing down and lightly dragging and lifting to create these small leaves. I'll continue doing this to add all the leaves. For the first illustration, we're creating this branch with tiny delicate leaves. You can add extra stems wherever you'd like to make the branch more full. So that's our first one complete. For the second, I'm going to make a more pastel shade of the same green. I'll mix it up separately so that we can use the deeper green again for shading. I'm adding permanent white to it. I'm swatching it again and I love the color. It's, it's a pale green, kind of like a duck egg green. I'll again start with the center stem and this time I'm creating a eucalyptus stem. And eucalyptus has these very round and irregular shaped leaves. So let's create those. Again, just use the tip of the brush for the stems and drag the belly of the brush to create the shape. Create the outlines of the leaves first and then fill them in if you're more comfortable doing that. And just like I do, feel free to turn the paper in any direction that you're comfortable with. I prefer dragging the brush towards me so I turn the paper accordingly. I'm now going to add in a few buds on the stem. And then I'll use the darker green to create some shading. I'm first adding the dark shade onto the leaves and the buds. And the final thing I'll do is wash off all the paint and just use a damp brush to blend the leaves. For the third illustration, I want a more vibrant green, so I'm using permanent green middle. But of course, we still want it to look natural and realistic, so it can't be used as it is. So I'm mixing in some yellow ochre. I'm swatching it, but it still looks a little unnatural to me and a little too bright. So I'll use a bit more ochre and maybe just a touch of red. I'm swatching it again and this is lovely. Let's use this to create a sort of fern. And this time I'm thinking I might want to create some tonal variations as I paint. So I'm getting some white on my palette. I'm mixing up a lighter shade in advance so it's easier when I'm painting. Again starting with the stem and this time once I press down the belly of my brush, I'm dragging it for a little longer to create these long pointy leaves. One thing I like doing is slightly wiggling my brush or my hand as I do this to get more jagged and natural shapes. Imperfect is good. So I'm continuing this way, slightly varying the shade for each leaf. I'm now adding in a lot more white to create an overlapping leaf. I'm just adding one final leaf and I'll leave it that way. 
For the next one, I want a plant with nice big wavy leaves. I'm going to mix a lighter version of the same color, starting with yellow ochre as my base this time. I'll add some permanent green middle to that and a fair amount of white. Do you see how different the shade looks just by varying the proportions of the colors that we add? So now I'm creating much bigger leaves with lovely wavy edges. And this time I'll do a wet on wet shading by adding a bit of the darker tone while the base paint is still wet and blending them together. I'll continue that way and create 5 leaves. Once they dry, I'll use the darker tone to create veins on the leaves. For the final one, I'm going to mix up a more brownish autumnal green. So for this, I'm using the darker green that we already have, which we used for the fern. But I'm adding a lot more red to it. I'm happy with this and I'll be blending it with the lighter shade as I go. This time, let's create long slender leaves. Not like a fern, but something more like ficus or willow leaves. And you know the drill now. Create the stem and then drag the belly of your brush and lightly lift it up to form a tip. You can create additional branches if you'd like and keep varying the shade as you go. That helps the leaves look a lot more natural because if you ever notice in nature, Different leaves on the same plant don't look exactly the same. They always have these varying tones happening. I apologize for my hand covering a lot of what I'm doing sometimes. Um, I promise to improve my setup uh, for my shoots and try to capture a different camera angle sometimes. So there we have it, five beautiful gosh botanicals that you can try today. And we've incorporated so many different shades of green which are so simple to mix up using very limited colors. And as you can see, I have a lot of space left on my sheet. So would you like me to do a part two on this? Maybe some more plants, maybe some simple florals. Let me know in the comments and I would love to create that for you. The links to all the materials I used are in the description. I had so much fun painting those and I hope you did as well. As always, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have lots more tutorials coming out in the weeks to come and if there's something specific that you'd like to see me teach you, please drop a comment and let me know. I also have some very exciting news to share with all of you today. After a few months of work, I finally have a Skillshare course live. I've put so much of love, thought and effort into this course. It's a Gouache 101 course and I have already done a Gouache 101 video on my YouTube channel which if you haven't watched it, I'm linking it above. But the Skillshare course just dives into a lot more detail and breaks down every single technique and all my tips and tricks when it comes to working with gouache. We go deeper into color theory and just understanding your paints better. And it's just jam-packed with 
so much of valuable information. I really hope you'll check it out and I hope you enjoy it. I've left a link in the description through which you can sign up to Skillshare and watch my class. By signing up using my link, your first month of Skillshare is going to be completely free and that's just such a great deal because you can watch my class for free as well as other classes from loads of creators across the globe. Now I'm signing off and you can connect with me anytime on Instagram and you can even sign up to my newsletter for all updates from me using the link in my description. I'll see you next time. Bye.